What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez. I am back with another MLB player prop video for you today, Saturday, July 1st, 2023. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. We're kicking things off by going over our plays from yesterday. Then we're headed over to prize picks to go over two plays that I like. Lastly, going over to the underdog dashboard to go over one play that I like. And then we'll conclude the video with some partnership recognition. So if all that sounds good to you, I encourage you to stick around, drop a like, sub up, click the notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and the channel. And without further delay, let's get into those plays from yesterday. All right, 2-0 on the day. 3-0 eludes us once again by way of DNP. Cardinals-Yankees game gets canceled. I still like Stanton uh, in that spot. I play him again. If the weather wasn't forecasted to be so poor today, he'd be in this video once again. But uh, beware of the weather in St. Louis. Looks like heavy rain again. Double header on the schedule today, but they may not even play these games. So be careful. Let's talk about the other two plays that we talked about in the video. Tommy Henry over strikeouts goes over that, doubles it up, gets us eight. We only needed four to push, five to go over. Then we took the under Ronel Blanco's strikeout prop of five. He gets us two. Everything that we talked about in the video basically came true in um, you know throughout those games, and it's nice to see some uh, momentum being sustained over this past week. So much, in fact, we're currently sitting at ten and two with our free YouTube plays over the last handful of days. So I hope you're able to tell these plays, put them in your slips because um, they've been some good calls for the last five days or so. Looking to keep it going with today's three picks. Let's head on over to the prize picks dashboard and start breaking these down. All right, here are the two picks on prize picks we're talking about. Like I always say, if you got what you want, I wish you the best of luck. However, if you want to stick around and get the breakdown on these players, then um, that's exactly we, what we are about to do. Let's start with a pitcher strikeout prop. Ryan Nelson over four strikeouts versus the Angels. I like the over on this one. Let's head over to props.cash and talk about it. All right, let's look at Nelson's last five home, excuse me, away games, being that this game is being played in Los Angeles. Gone over three times, under two times. In the three games he's hit this, he's averaging six. In the two games he has gone under, he's giving us four strikeouts. Today he faces an Angels lineup that's swinging at a, or missing, missing balls at a 22.9% whiff rate. That's good enough for 14th highest or lowest in the major leagues. Middle of the road, nothing too crazy there. One thing I do want to show you that really stood out to me when digging, in, digging into this prop, looking at the last handful of right-handed pitchers that have faced the Angels now, the one pitcher not on this list is Tommy Henry. He had eight strikeouts yesterday, so when we factor in Tommy Henry, we got Lance Lynn, Giolito, Michael Kopeck and Dylan Cease. Now four of those guys play for the same team. White Sox rotation is pretty nasty right now, but four out of the five right-handed pitchers that the Angels have, Angels have faced have gone over their prop and, and not just over their prop, but they're giving us seven plus strikeouts. And every, every one of those pitchers except for Kopeck has given you seven plus strikeouts. Even though the Angels are striking out at a, you know, average rate versus righties over the last five games, it, it isn't average. It's way, way high. So keep that in mind. That's one thing that I like uh, about this prop. I think this is a good spot for him. I think the stats back it up. Let's do it. First prop on the board is Ryan Nelson. We're going over for strikeouts. Second prop on the board, we're talking about Manny Machado, 1.5 total bases. I like the over on this one. Let's head over to props.cash and talk about it. Now, this game does have some rain in the forecast, but looks like it's clearing up throughout the day. So hopefully it doesn't delay the game too much. Let's talk about Manny Machado, though. We need two bases from him today. He's done this in three out of his last five away games, but his last two games, he's gone over. No hits, no total bases, no nothing. Striking out three times over the last five games. I like seeing that because it means he's putting the ball in play. Averaging less than one strikeout per game is, is really good. No history versus Brandon Williamson. However, like not, well, I don't know what I was trying to say right there. I like the numbers versus 
uh, right-handed, uh, excuse me, left-handed pitchers for Machado on the year. Three homers, five doubles, 18 singles for a 366 batting average. So seeing the ball well, seeing it better versus lefties, I like this for Machado today. Now, keep in mind this game is being played in Cincinnati, the great American small park, very hitter-friendly confine. So that is another plus. And then one thing that I always like to look at plate appearances or at bats Machado should give us four plate appearances four at bats today to me that's plenty of opportunity for him to get the over on his two uh two bases so let's do it rolling with the over on both of these props Manny Machado 1.5 total bases Ryan Nelson 4.0 pitcher strikeouts all right transitioning over to underdog I really like playing on underdog um it's a pretty fun site uh, I, de I definitely want to make sure that I'm providing at least one pick from underdog. I know a lot of people also like playing on this platform as well. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me talk about plays from different sites, you know, parlay play, uh, no house advantage, parlay play. Let me know if you want to see more content from those two sites. So Jock Peterson, 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. I like the higher on this one. Let's head over to props.cash and break this one down. All right, over on Props out cash, pulling up Jock Peterson's last five away games, being that this game is being played in New York. We can see that he's gonna over this line just one time out of those five games, giving you two hits, runs, and RBIs yesterday versus the Mets. Now, I understand these are not the best of numbers. Looking at Jock Peterson versus the right-handed pitching, this season, eight homers, two triples, three doubles, 22 singles for a 248 batting average. Numbers are getting better, right? Last five games, not that great. Numbers versus righties overall on the season. His matchup today versus Verlander does offer some value. In my opinion, four plate appearances. He has one homer, one RBI, and four plate appearances for a 250 batting average. But Justin Verlander versus left-handed bats on the year, like Peterson, Giving up some production, all right? Seen more lefties than righties this season. 33 singles, 14 doubles, four homers, one triple. Uh, I was looking at Verlander's numbers over his last few starts, and I did want to pull up just to show you what Peterson is facing on the other side. So his last five games, you can see that he's struck out, you know, five to six batters. Hits allowed in those games. Now, it's kind of all over the place. Five, seven, three, eight, five. Uh, mixed results here. I mean, eight and seven hits is a lot of hits in a game for a pitcher to give up. And then earned runs. Two out of his last five games, he's given up four, uh, or excuse me, yeah, four, four earned runs. I bring this to your attention just to show you that Verlander can be hit. Uh, he can be, you know, beat up a little bit in games. And Peterson is in a good spot versus Verlander being that he sees the ball better um, versus right-handed uh, versus right-handed pitching and Verlander on the flip side struggling a little bit versus the left-handed batters like Jock Peterson so with all that being said I like the over on this one good spot for Peterson to get us two two bases or excuse me two uh, combined two hits runs and RBIs enough said let's do it taking the over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs as our third and final prop over on Underdog. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video. Two plays over on prize picks you see here, and then our one play over on Underdog. You see it right there. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, checking this video out. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you like on the board as well as your thoughts on these plays. Right before we head out, let me just send quick recognition to DG Fantasy, partner of the channel. Uh, if you have any interest in learning about the DFS optimizer on DG Fantasy, find my affiliate link in the description of this video below. I personally use the optimizer. It helps me locate value across multiple platforms. It's just really improved my research process. Any questions about that, drop me a comment below. Best of luck should you tell any of these plays and until tomorrow's MLB, player prop video Chavez is out.